Hey guys, it's Clarissa. And today we're going to continue our travel stories. Now, if you haven't watched part one and two, I will link the videos in the description below. So let's get into it. Okay, so third destination was Thailand. I stayed in Thailand for three weeks. Um, I stayed in Bangkok, uh, Kanchanaburi, Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, and then Pai. From Malaysia, I boarded a plane going to Bangkok. So it's not what you guys think. I didn't steal brand new shoes from a store or from the mall. It's nothing like that. So the first day, I just kind of scoured the area outside of my hostel. So naglakad-lakad lang ako to see what's you know around the area and all of that. So I didn't really have any kind of plans for that day. When I checked in at my hostel, there was this couple who was checked in, and then another two girls um, checked in. So day two, I went to the Grand Palace. After the Grand Palace, I went to a park just to hang out and then I got my dinner and then I went home. And then the following day, I met up with this Belgium guy. Um, we just went out to explore together, see some temples. And there was this museum that I really, really wanted to go to, like even before I started my travel. So na nasa Pilipinas pa lang ako. Excited na akong pumunta dito sa museum na to. Now, it's a little freaky, okay? It's a museum of dead bodies. <laughs> Mostly fetuses who have birth defects. Yeah, newsflash, I'm into gory stuff. It's so I saw a lot of cool shit there, like Cyclops babies, like Siamese twins, and just a lot. It was so fascinating. And I know it's like creepy and everything. The Belgium guy, right? I invited him to go to this museum and I showed him what it was. Run. <laughs> and I was like, are you sure? And he was like, yeah. But he was nice because he was nice there, so we were far away from the temples to the museum. At one point, there it was just me and nobody else in the museum and it, I was surrounded by just dead bodies everywhere. They also held bodies of like people who have been in accidents, they kind of saved their, they preserved their, their bodies so they're kind of like in these tanks with water and you know some of them nakadilat pa. Um, yung iba parang nasunog, tapos yung buto nila, um, they, they kept the bones and parang the remnants of, you know, just burnt um, organs and things like that. Tapos parang, <laughs> natakot din ako kasi nga, mag-isa lang ako. Tapos feeling ko, yung, is, yung ibang katawan dun, biglang didila, tapos titingin sa akin. Kasi nga, yun, I got scared. Although, hapon naman yun. After the museum, um, naglibot-libot pa ako, and then I just, I think I just went back to the park again, and then had dinner pag uwi ko. So day three in Bangkok, I had a train going to Kanchanaburi. The night before my departure, kasi maaga yung alis ng train eh, parang 9 a.m., parang ganon. Si Bakla, nilaban yung sapatos, kinagabihan. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Ewan ko ba, inisip ko matutuyo siya. 
the next morning. Obviously, it did not, right? Tinray ko eh. Tinray ko suotin. And it was soaking wet. Super basasha. So, obviously, I couldn't wear it. So, I was like, oh my god, what am I going to do? Like, I, isa lang yung sapatos ko eh. Isa lang yung dila kong sapatos. When you're backpacking, you don't really bring a lot of stuff. And so, I just had that one pair of shoes that were soaking wet. So, I looked around and there were these pair of shoes at the corner. Tapos, at this point, nag-check out na lahat dun sa hostel ko. Wala nang tao. And this is confirmed, okay? I didn't just assume it. I tinanong ko pa yung reception ko nag-check out na lahat. And she said, yeah, ikaw na lang yung nandyan. So, minessage ko yung dalawang afam na pilat, no? Na nag-check in. Um, no isang araw, tas um, nakalis na sila. I go, hey, um, are these your shoes? And then sabi nila, um, no, actually, that's been there even before we checked in. So if I were you, I'd take it. And so the bitch did. <laughs> <laughs> I took the shoes. I'd like to think that they were left there for me by God, by angels. Okay, so here's the thing, huh? The shoes perfectly fit me. Like, what are the odds, right, that it fits me? So you know, God knew that, you know, this dumb bitch will wash her shoes tonight <laughs> before her departure, and so I'm gonna leave these shoes for you. And it worked out. And I actually ended up wearing those shoes a lot because it was in a lot better shape than mine were. Mine were a little bit run down, you know, it's been used for a long time. So I ended up using those shoes in Vietnam as well. Tapos la week ko pa siya dito sa Pilipinas. I don't have them anymore because, you know, it's been a few years, so I already threw them away. But those shoes, baby, they served me well. So wherever you are, rest in peace. <laughs> um, and so I went to Canterbury. The crowd, but I only see your face in all the lights. And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really want to make um, I was only there for two days, one night. Funny, si bakla nag tinder de ba? Hakatawa yung isa don. So when you have Tinder Premium, you can actually see the people who swipes right to you. So nakikita mo kung sino may mga bet sa yung. Tapos, yung isa doon, <laughs> nandun sa hostel ko, doon sa Kanchanaburi. Parang sabi ko, ito yung, <laughs> this is the guy. Magkatapat pa yung kama namin doon sa hostel. Funny. But I pretended that, you know, I didn't know him. He didn't know I had premium, so. And that is it for our travel stories today. We have one more for Vietnam, so please stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching and for listening, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye guys. And today we're gonna continue kick Volo. <laughs> oh my god, it's so hot, you guys. <clears throat> so today.